Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sandabort in the Netherlands. This is the 67 version of the circuit. I'm in a 68 EVE and we're going to do 8 laps here with 20 cars on the grid starting from 8th. This should be pure insanity from start to finish. So let's see how we go. I suck at getting this car off the line. So I'm fully expecting to get swamped. Yep, there they go. So if we can't get through and get a couple of spots back without making contact. Yep, up to seventh, no contact. Okay, no more insane moves on the first on the first lap, I think. Let's try and get through this alive. So as you can see, these bias ply tyres really don't offer much in the way of, of grip front or rear. The brakes aren't great either. Uh, let's see, here we go. So this is the this is the 67 layout of the circuit. Uh, there's actually a 65 layout available as well in the same pack. So this is by uh, F3 Classic Tracks. Sergio is the guy that made this circuit. Um, I believe it's his site. Um, and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. The, the differences between the 65 and the 67 from what I can see, because I don't actually think there's really any differences in the original, original circuit layouts, is that the, uh, the back section of the track that we've just been through is very heavily forested in the 65 version. Um, so if you, touch the, if you touch the sand in the 65 version, it's game over because you end up in the trees. Um, there's obviously some texture differences in the circuit too. Um, the way it looks between the years. Breaking way early there. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, not too bad though. Um, and the, the circuit itself is, is absolutely brilliant. The, um, you can feel every single bump through the wheel. It's done such a good job. I really hope that he brings his other circuits that are available in, uh, in AC to, to R Factor 2. Just absolutely perfect. I think it suits these cars to a T, obviously, being a 67 F1 circuit. <laughs> I was going to drive the M23 here, but I think that it deserves it deserves these cars to be driven on it. Oh, no, 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 come on, come on. Get it together. See if we can get these guys to this sweeper here. No, he shut the door on me. Can I draft him? Nope, <laughs> doesn't look that way. That was a one twenty. So anyone that yeah zero, knows the modern modern layout of Zandvoort will know that. You recognise all these corners, the hairpin, turns one and two here and three. Are all are all in the modern layout, they're just obviously bounded by concrete now. Coming through here is also very similar. Second so might just be a little bit wider now. Slightly different elevation change, but oh sorry mate. It's from this point on that the circuit really starts to change. Uh, now this is the, as I said, the 67 layout, but the circuit layout didn't really change at all, all the way up until 74, when there's one of the corners coming up that, that was changed. It became um, Panorama Bocht, which is a chicane now, um, purely because there were, for safety reasons really, there were a lot of deaths between 70 and 73. It was this corner here, I think. Um, so it slowed the it slowed the racing down through there, but actually made for closer racing too. So it was done for safety reasons, but it it actually improved the racing at Zandvoort. Right, time to concentrate. These guys are pulling away from me. I don't know what damage I've got? Oh, not too much. The lap was a one twenty six point seven four. Wow! Wow! Where did he come from? Right, 
Let's see if we can catch up with these guys. So Zambord itself, um, construction started at this circuit in 1939. So it actually started, started being built during the Second World War. Um, the main straight was constructed uh, as kind of a, a lie to the occupational forces that they would use it to hold parades for, for generals winning battles, but they kept it, <laughs> they were actually building a race circuit and uh, got finished, I think it was 1947. So there's a pretty cool history behind the circuit itself. Absolutely suits his cars to a T. Love it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna make these spots up when I get a party. Oh, oh mate's gone wide. that up a little bit there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Definitely faster through there. Come on. Bump, bump, bump. Oh, sorry, mate. I love the sound of these cars. So I've got the car AI set to 105 strength, or skill, rather, and, um, 35 aggression. It makes them really competitive here. For me, anyway. Go, 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 go. It's gonna make it stick. No, no, he's right there. <laughs> Whew. Okay, come on. I'm not gonna catch him down here. Too much drag in this car. Heart in mouth the whole way around. I should be able to get old, mate. I don't think I'm going to get. This is going to be a podium, though. Wow, he's really getting away there, isn't he? Gotcha. Oh, gotta watch that curb. The feel, the force feedback feel of this circuit is is awesome. You've got to try. I'll I'll leave a link um, to F3 Classic Tracks in the description so you can check it out if you want to. But uh. This is just, this is fantastic. I haven't had this much fun for ages. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to shut the door on me, isn't it? Yep. Just can't get him here. Oh, where did he come from? I've got two spots to make up, come on. With them through here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if I can make a pass somewhere along the back here. Oh, it's a very daring place to do it. I'm 
shut the door, mate. Ooh, gotcha. <laughs> Super flat spot somewhere. Ooh, last lap. Together and not let anyone past. Oh. Okay, come on. Nice clean back. Back half of the circuit, let's do this. Oh, right to the edge. Whew. Back on the gas, here we go. Oh. that wheel <laughs> and across the line whoa eighth to fifth well I hope you enjoyed that I certainly did that was awesome um, I'd really encourage anybody to go and check this circuit out I think it's one of the best ones available to our factor too um, if you did enjoy it give it a like uh, I'd really appreciate it if you sub subscribed and uh, hit the notification bell and I'll be sure to upload more content soon thanks everyone bye